Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through the grooming kit. When to groom your horse, why you should groom your horse, and all the different kinds of brushes to use, and how to use them. First of all, all the stuff I have in my grooming kit. First up we have some plaiting bands, some gloves, a tail bandage, some hair nets, some brushes for applying hoof oil, a hoof pick, we're going to be using that today, some mane and tail combs, and some more plaiting bands. So I have a sponge, a metal curry comb for taking all the hair and dirt off the other brushes when we're done grooming, and I've got a massage brush here. I'll be using that today because Sophie really likes it. A water brush. A dandy brush, a mane and tail brush, a body brush with really soft bristles compared to the water brush and the dandy brush. Now we have a nice and soft face brush. We have a few massage pads, a really big dandy brush with really long bristles and now I have another body brush with longer bristles I have another sponge a kind of a sponge brush for baiting a horse I have a rubber curry comb and I have a sweat scraper. And a plastic curry comb. And I have some hoof oil for her hooves. And that's it, the box is empty. Okay, so we have everything out in the grass. Today we'll be definitely using a hoof pick to pick out our hooves. We'll be using a face brush for our face. We're probably not going to be using the mane and tail combs, but we'll be using the mane and tail brush for her mane and tail. We'll be using the rubber curry comb all over her body to loosen out the hairs and get rid of dirt. We'll be using the giant dandy brush to be getting rid of more hairs and mud and dust. Um, we'll be using the body brush down at the end. And as you can see the body brush has smaller bristles and is way softer compared to the dandy brushes and the water brush. We'll be using the metal curry comb to clean the other brushes from all the hair and dirt when we're done grooming. Now I have a brush for massaging the horse and I have a few other massage pads as well that I might use, we'll see. And now I have a sponge and a sponge brush. I have a video dedicated to 
baiting a horse. You can check it out. The link will be in the description and at the end of this video. Okay, now we're all set. Let's get into the grooming. So first of all, I'm going to tie her up in a quick release knot. So I can quickly take the knot out and untie her if I need to. First of all, we're going to use a hoof pick to pick out our hooves. As you can see here, there's a lot of space in their hoof where little tiny stones, loads of dirt and mud can get stuck. So our aim is just to clean all that out and make sure everything is fine with their hoof. As you guys can see here, the little V shape on their hoof, that part of their foot is called the frog and it's a bit more sensitive than the rest of their foot so we need to be very careful and not to um, kind of jab at that part with the hoof pick. To pick up her hoof I'm going to stand at the side and starting at the shoulder I'm going to run my hand down to her foot so she knows I'm about to pick it up. It's the same thing for picking up the back leg. I'll start at the shoulder and I'll run my hand down along her body and all the way down to her foot. And as you can see I am standing at the side of the horse and not behind it. You can actually just practice picking up your horse's hoof even when you're not going to pick it out. So then they know, so then they'll let you pick it up when you actually want to do it. You see Sophie was trying to give me her other foot there. But now she got it, there we go. Next, what we're going to use is a face brush and we're going to gently brush her whole face to get rid of all the loose hairs and the dust and dirt. Next, what we have is the mane and tail brush and I'm going to just gently brush her whole mane and tail and tidy it up with the mane and tail brush. It's totally fine if I brush Sophie's mane and tail every day with the mane and tail brush because her mane and tail is very thick. But if your horse's mane and tail is thin, you probably shouldn't brush it with that too often because it will take too many strands of hair out and then their mane and tail will keep getting more thinner. You can gently brush it and tidy it up with the body brush. So now I have the rubber curry comb. To use this I'm going to just rub it in circular motions to get all the mud and dirt out and it's ideal for taking dried mud out of the horse's coat. The best time to groom a horse is right before you ride but you don't need to groom your horse using the whole grooming kit every single day. You can just grab a hoof pick, pick out their hooves and a few brushes and just quickly brush them over. Now I have the dandy brush. When you're grooming, just be aware of where you are and where the horse is. Make sure not to get in between a wall, or really close to a wall and the horse. The horse could try to walk away, it can spook, anything can really happen. So just be aware of where you are and where the horse is. When there's loads of hair stuck on the brushes, you can use the metal curry comb to shake all the dust and hairs off the brush. Now I have the big dandy brush to get rid of any remaining bits of dirt, mud and hairs. And lastly, I have a soft body brush for the finishing touches. A very important thing to remember is to brush in the direction where the coat goes naturally. 
usually this is kind of from the shoulder area towards the ground and towards the hindquarters. Most areas of the body usually that is the way to brush. It's very important not to brush against the natural way the hairs are on the coat. It's very important not to brush the opposite way. Now I've got a massage brush and I can scratch Sophie's withers and her back and all and she really likes that. When horses are out in the field and they're out together what they do is they, they groom each other's backs and withers in a similar way. The main reasons to groom is not only to clean them and get all the mud and dirt off them but also to just spend time with them. Another very important reason for grooming is just to make sure there's nothing wrong with your horse, you don't know when it was out in the field, maybe something happened, he got a bite or a scratch off another horse or even a kick or anything that might be wrong. When I was grooming Sophie today, I didn't notice this when I first brought her in but when I was grooming her I noticed she had a cut on her foot and I was able to get my first aid kit and put something on it. At the end, when you're finished grooming, you can clean all your brushes, put them back in the box, and that's it. Subscribe to see more videos about Sophie, horse riding, and all the other crazy things I get up to.